Ah, leave me alone, god dang it! I'll show you who the scrub really is, you stupid piece of shit. Hey, what's all the fuss about? I'm sorry, I'm just really annoyed right now because the same guy keeps beating me a YGO Pro. How do you know that it's the same guy? Because he keeps playing heralds and talking crap, that's how I know. Well, Harold needs Harold to win, right? Right. So just build a deck really quick that plays like three sphere mode and kaijus and stuff and you should be all set. Hey, that's actually a really good idea, thank you. No problem, just try to keep it down because I'm trying to work. Will do. Alright, now let's kick his ass with side frames. Sometimes I just wake up and want to kick ass at Yu-Gi-Oh! I don't know about you guys, but that is how I woke up. So, um, this is obviously going to be me showing off a lot of replays with, uh, Heralds, um, which is one of my favorite decks, if not my current favorite deck to play. It's probably my current favorite deck to play in Yu-Gi-Oh! It has been, um, actually for quite some time because this deck is super, super good. Like, I mean, it goes first and it basically wins. Uh, plus you build just massive, massive advantage with it. The, the deck is just insane. Um, this is card for card, like literally card for card. Um, the deck profile I showed you guys not too long ago, um, in the, um, you know, deck of perfection video. This is card for card. Still, um, you know, side deck and everything. Still that same exact deck. I literally haven't changed it. I haven't had, um, I haven't felt the need to change it. All the ratios are right. It, it, the deck just works. It wins every time it goes first. I'm not even kidding, but I went ahead and threw in some uh, going second, um, going second uh, duels in here as well, so that not everything is just going first and showing off what you guys are seeing right now, which is total and utter domination. Um, and right here, I'm just going to switch everything to attack and win. Uh, so now that that uh, first test duel is out of the way, let's get into the meat of the video. So right here, I'm going against Burning Abyss. He kind of uh, misplays right here. He knows when I'm playing because uh, otherwise he wouldn't have, uh, you know, he's really, he wouldn't have followed up the um, Ogre with the Ash um, if he didn't know what I was playing. He really wanted to try to prevent me from getting a Herald on board at all costs, which is, which I feel like is why he wasted two hand traps on the Dagra, um, which is, which was a mistake. I mean, technically he shouldn't have even Ogred it because it's really bad to Ogre the Dagra. I mean, technically it prevents the extra plus one, but like you pay 6,000 life for that extra plus one, you know what I mean? Like total. So I don't, I don't know. Um, so right here I'm just like oh well if I can keep him from getting a Dante on board I'm gonna win so that is why I negated his BA cards and then I rip into a chair which I did that um, because I knew I was gonna have to pitch my stuff um, uh, it's it's long story short like it's a long story but <laughs> I knew I was gonna have to pitch my stuff off of the uh, off the Herald otherwise I would have went uh, you know uh, I would save stuff for uh, the bear a wings combo you guys saw that right there it's hard to explain um, especially when everything's going this fast I'm trying to talk over it all but um, anyways uh, right here I'm going against heroes um, he's trying to go first and open up with a dark law there it is oh and this is another one i threw in here of me going second um so i activate terraforming um, go ahead and I, I just like chair chair stick <laughs> which is really weird really bizarre never happens my plan was just to um, use uh, honest to smack over the dark law but nah I didn't even have to do that <laughs> on that one I kind of threw that one in there um, you know showing uh, you know kind of uh, siding for going second and then um, not even needing to, to use your side <laughs> but um, anyways um, so right here um, I'm go like I go into a limit I'm trying to dig um, and uh, you know I'm, I'm just trying to build my perfect board here and here in a second you guys are gonna see my hand just blow up like I was down on advantage he ashed me but nah dude I'm coming right back look at this like look how much advantage this 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 deck just gains like right like on, I mean on the turn of a dime like you know what I mean it's it just goes from like three cards four cards to like 12 so quick um this this deck has you know just it, it, it is it's is, it is a um, it's a high resource deck um I don't know how, to, how else to put it like you it's a high card advantage deck in other words um uh, more times than not when you're playing Herald you will have have way more cards than your opponent like way way more cards than your opponent and this is just another example of how a uh, herald wins um you know i, I set up um the, uh, the best board i can get as many heralds on the f on field as possible as many fairies in hand as possible negate everything he throws at me and just and just win that way um and this uh, also goes to show like even a, a deck go, like programmed to go second playing evenly matched like he just was um still wasn't able to push through everything that i was able to generate like the board i was able to generate was just way way too good i mean you like literally you have to have sphere mode to go against this deck with it is it is ridiculous um how powerful this deck can be um so right here i go uh, bear wings combo 
And then um, he, I, so I use that uh, first normal summon uh, for Gale Dagra. Pay six thousand, uh, get that uh, plus uh, plus two, which is ridiculous. Um, Gale Dagra is actually really really broken in this deck. Um, not only b uh, because of the plus two and uh, fixing hands and stuff, but right there, um, I was able to go into Mrs. Radiant, which is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, using uh, you know you get two normal summons off Seraph Knight, plus it's an Earth with Gale Dagra to go into Mrs. Radiant. Like this, oh my gosh, it's so ridiculous. It's it's almost like it's almost if Konami made this deck for us and like all Sam and I did was just kind of see it and throw the cards together. <laughs> I mean, it's literally kind of how it felt like. I mean, what it feels like, I mean, um, you know, to play this deck, it's just it's so perfect. I threw this replay in here um, just to show off. I mean, if I would have got ripped, if, if I would have ripped better cards right there, you know, more fairies off of that uh, Desire's Draw, the board would have been better. But yeah, three Heralds, three Heralds and an Ouroboros. Very, very good. Um, so uh, this, I think he's playing, yeah, he's playing that like Jack, uh, Jack's Knight deck or whatever. Um, so this is pretty interesting. Um, uh, I don't know why he, uh, why he attacked over Mrs. Radiance because um, I just, I I guess it's the only thing he could have attacked over, but I get um, um, Fluffle Bear back anyways for another negate for Harold, uh, so it doesn't really matter. And how this resolves right here, um, I just, yeah, I, I win anyways. I just let all this go through. Um, so if you watch, I mean, I threw negates at him, but I just win anyways. <laughs> like, the way it resolved, he scooped. Uh, it's, it's amazing how many people lose connection when you're playing this deck, by the way. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty crazy. Um, so this one, I threw this replay in here because this one's really funny. Um, so I I go pre-prep, uh, prep, which is, oh my gosh, uh, prep at three, guys, prep at three, busted, prep at three plus Gale Dogger right here again, <laughs> it's so good, um, so I summon Harold, um, you know, do this move, uh, same moves kind of over and over, just different ways of doing them and uh, different ways of going about them depending on the situation and then uh, deck you're playing against, um, which is something that I wasn't able to, uh, I, mentioned, I mentioned that in the deck profile where I was like, I can't uh, explain everything this deck can do and every hand this deck can play through, uh, just, I would just have to show you guys when the situation comes up, so this uh, video also kind of doubles as me following up with that, I'm kind of showing what this deck can do, and I snipe the grin! <laughs> That's what I was gonna show you guys. I'm, I misplay right here. I hate that stupid turtle. I, I misplayed right there, but it still it like literally doesn't matter because if it just just watch. Just I mean he, he summons the Kamungus, goes into the Necroface. I negate that. I have I still have four negates in hand. He's got two cards in hand. I don't I don't care. I just I just summon sticks, switch these to attack, and then win. <laughs> like, it's just really really good. Um, in my opinion, this is uh, honestly probably the best going first deck in the game right now. Maybe uh, it just depends. I mean. Really Really, um, what, I, what it comes down to with this deck is um, with this hand. Oh, I wanted to note really quick uh, before I go on with that. I wanted to note really quick that I some I, I activated the brilliant fusion um, first right there on purpose so that if he did have Ash, he would have negated that, and he did, and he played right into what I wanted. Uh, but anyways, um, <laughs> so I wanted to note that real quick. Uh, but like I was saying, um, I really truly feel like if you compare this to other going first decks, I, I truly feel like this one generates the most advantage and makes the biggest boards and has the highest ceiling. So um, I think as far as going first decks goes I mean unless you're playing like pure stun anyways I think this might be the best um because you know you, you just generate so much card advantage like right here um you know I'm, I'm, I'm three cards up on my opponent now four cards up on my opponent he's gonna draw though so it's, it's gonna go back to uh, three cards in just a second so he draws but still three cards up on my opponent and that's after negating everything in his hand um and, the, and I mean I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna keep digging into him keep attacking and he just lost he scooped up um I put this replay in here because um this is cyber dragons and and I, I just wanted to include cyber dragons in here i have to spank my own deck i'm sorry <laughs> i have to spank my own deck uh, but it's but i want to note though that it's really cool um you know how often i actually play against cyber dragons um on, on a ygo pro it's it's really interesting and like almost i mean almost every single time like i would say like i mean almost 11 times out of 10 almost like if, uh, people are playing um card for card my builder close to it and it's a huge honor it really is but uh even though it's an honor though i still have to still have to spank the deck and uh, snipe out a kite right there <laughs> have him scoop I had to do it I had to do it to him I had to do it to him okay so um, I go into a stick chair um, summon the second chair draw again um, ritual sanctuary um, right here that's another thing that's really good about um, you know um, having prep back at three is that when you pitch uh, the dawn off of the ritual sanctuary you get to uh, get that um, that dawn right back off of prep it's really really good so um, go into so bear wings combo just completes the deck oh my gosh so good so um, I go into um, uh, Ouroboros, uh, pop my own card, 
um, draw um, Snipe out of his hand. I get the diagram out of his hand. Have two uh, heralds on board. I'm able to do this all without Brilliant Fusion, by the way. Just look at this glorious. Oh my gosh, amazing! <laughs> like if you play this deck right, um, you usually win with it. Like you know, right here I was able to build this board and have five uh, five negates in hand. So in other words, um, you know, so he's going to start with five cards instead of six because of Ouroboros. So, so I was able to get a negates in my hand for every card that he has. To, let's just put it that way. So uh, right here was kind of hurt though because he was able to um, out you know kind of semi out my board, but not really uh, because I still have two heralds and uh, just going to negate. So uh, yeah, he scoops. <laughs> like once again, you you you're gonna, you'd be surprised. Like if you don't if you don't think people lose connection a lot on YGO Pro, um, start start playing this deck. You'll you'll find that um, a lot of people <laughs> start losing connection. Man, like they need to call their ISPs or something. Harold is just too broke again. Like, their ISPs just can't handle the connection. Can't handle the power of this deck. So uh, Bear Wings combo again. Um, so um, I go into yeah. So I'm gonna make another Harold right here. Um, and then yeah. So uh, Ben 10. Ben 10 is really what makes the deck though because uh, you know getting that Ben 10 off right back off of Dawn and then being able to get a search off of that Ben 10 for summoning Harold. That's ridiculous. So he goes Blue Boy. Um, he, um, then Ghost Ogre. So I'm just like nah, not having either of those. So I uh, negate both of those. He goes Itali. Uh, let it go through because he summons that and I'm just like uh, okay, don't care. <laughs> so um, I just switched uh, those. Uh, yeah, I summon switch those two to attack. I summon a, a stick chair. Um, you know, just go into uh, you know three eighteens and then uh, just I, I don't like to uh, get um, if I don't have game on board. I won't switch like Gale Dogra to attack, for example, usually because um, there's no point to and like you just kind of like leave yourself open to, for damage. So, um, anyways, though, um, this is the last duel I'm going to show you guys and probably the best duel out of all of them because um, um, this shows um, kind of another weird way I end up playing the deck. Um, just, just, uh, just watch. Uh, go with me here. So, um, I activate Bear uh, Set Bender. Activate uh, Ritual Sanctuary. Go into uh, Herald, of course. Uh, ben 10's going to trigger. Don's going to trigger. Um, ben 10 back to my hand. Uh, search that Wings. Activate uh, Toy Vendor. Pitch Wings. Um, you know, Bear Wings combo. Search. Um, so, go into Illuminate. Try to dig more. Try to, uh, you know, build the best board that I can. Um, and uh, this is just all going to get me there. So, uh, this is the best board I could have built. Um, you know, I, like I have uh, Herald on board and. Uh, uh, it looks like uh, four negates in hand, not bad. Um, so he's playing Cosmos though. So I um, go Gale Dagra, negates. He goes Solemn Strike, which hurts because I mean I can't do anything against the spell speed three. So Strike against a Herald is very very good. Uh, part of the reason why you always want two Herald, not just because of Kaiju, just but because if one gets like striked, like you still have another one. So that uh, you know just uh, plus uh, you know more monsters the better, more Heralds the better. Just kind of common sense. Uh, so um, the way I do this though. <laughs> I'm able to loop all the way back around to having two heralds again, and um, I managed to uh, get that Illuminate out of my extra deck zone, so I can uh, so I can, so I can extend some more. So we just keep watching here. So uh, so I go into chair draw, go into decode talker. So I managed to get two heralds back on board. <laughs> he goes Cosmo, Joe. I go negates, uh, swing over um, a dark destroyer, negate dark destroyer, um, attack. Uh, see what he draws into. He uh, draws into Dark Witch. Oh, that's it. And that is it, guys. Um, so I just, I, I know um, a lot of these uh, replays and stuff are just really repetitive, but if you watch like any deck play for, for um, you know, a long period of time or even a short period of time like this, like you'll see like their moves are pretty repetitive over and over, you know, as well, especially like, you know, Magician FTK and stuff like, you know, a lot of uh, decks are just, um, you know, being able to recognize the same moves and being able to complete them over and over to complete your win condition, like being able to complete that um, is and be consistent about it is part of what really wins tournaments, you know what I mean? The, the deck that has the best win condition for an event and can achieve that win condition uh, the most consistently is typically the deck that will win that event. It's just kind of common sense. Uh, at least I think it's common sense, but apparently not to everybody. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope that you don't have eyeball cancer or anything like that after watching me play Heralds. I'm really sorry that I like this deck. I know that it sucks to play against. I know. I know it does. But you have to acknowledge that it is really fun to play and it's really consistent and really really good rogue for many different formats the deck never goes out of style and that is why I play it and I also want to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons none of this would be possible without you guys you guys are seriously the best thank you all so so much and this also wouldn't be possible without all of you guys watching thank you all so so much seriously for watching this and just liking my videos and everything else you do for me I truly do feel like that I have the best fans on the planet and the evidence keeps proving that thus far so I don't think that I'm lying when I say that 
I truly do have the best fans on the planet. Thank you all so much again. But until next time, I'm going to keep beating Eugene. God damn it, I hate this stupid game so much!